Keith Advisory Board. Woo! Hi, my name is Juwan Thompson, and I'm a senior at Arabian Mountain High School. And I'm Solana Bravo, and I'm a junior at Woodside High School. And we got the opportunity to attend the Summer Youth Leadership Institute this past summer. We're provided with the opportunity to stay on campus at Emory University's Goizeta Business School for an entire week. During that time, we actively participated in leadership and service workshops led by high-profile business executives and had the opportunity to meet and network with 21st Century Leader alumni. We also had the Leadership Challenge, which consisted of making an advertisement campaign for one of the events of 21st Century Leaders that happens throughout the school year or during the summer. My group got Fall Rally Day, and from that I got to learn how to measure the success of an event, and I got to build strong relationships with all my teammates. Here's some stats about the Summer Youth Leadership Institute. 100% of participants reported that they were more likely to seek out leadership roles or continue seeking leadership roles within their community after going to the program. 96% of all Summer Youth Leadership Institute participants reported that their leadership, teamwork, interpersonal skills, and critical thinking skills were positively impacted by this experience. The Summer Youth Leadership Institute was a highlight of my summer because I was able to make lasting friendships with different youth leaders from all over Georgia. And I was also able to improve my leadership skills. Without any doubt, the skills that we've learned from Summer Youth Leadership Institute have prepared us for the challenging but rewarding task of truly being a 21st century leader. Sophie Warner, I attend Shambly Charter High School as a senior, and this is my second year on the Youth Advisory Board. During the week, we attended the board course at Barry College, and this was a ropes course that challenged our comfort zone, and it made us develop as people. We also had a professional networking dinner which allowed us to network with various professionals in the Rome area. We also had various projects going on throughout the week that forced us to actually look at the environmental problems that face public schools and how we could improve those conditions. Hi, I'm Garland Jones. I'm a senior at the King's Academy in Woodstock, Georgia. Hello, I'm Tariq Johnson. I'm a senior at the Blackstone Academy, and this is my second year on the Advisory Board. This summer, we attended a camp at Georgia Tech called Leadership Unplugged, a CNN Experience. And basically, this camp was centered around media and journalism. At this camp, when I first went in, I was not personally that interested in media and journalism, but the camp changed all that for me. It gave me a whole new perspective on what media is, and it showed me how news is run from the fact that a bit from the time that it happens, all the way up to when a publisher decides if it's going to produce or not. It gave me a whole new perspective on media, and it made me realize a newfound interest. Hi, I'm Garland Jones. I'm a senior at the King's Academy in Woodstock, Georgia. Hello, I'm Tariq Johnson. I'm a senior at the Blackstone Academy, and this is my second year on the Advisory Board. This summer, we attended a camp at Georgia Tech called Leadership Unplugged, a CNN Experience. And basically, this camp was centered around media and journalism. At this camp, when I first went in, I was not personally that interested in media and journalism, but the camp changed all that for me. It gave me a whole new perspective on what media is, and it showed me how news is run from the fact that a bit, from the time that it happens, all the way up to when a publisher decides if it's going to produce or not. It gave me a whole new perspective on media, and it made me realize a newfound interest. Leadership Unplugged taught me how to connect with other people on various scales. It taught me how to lead from the front. It allowed me to get around like-minded people that had the same goals and dreams as me. And sitting in the sessions with people such as Tariq, it revitalized my dreams. It allowed me to dream again. And that's what Leadership Unplugged allowed me to do. Here's some stats from Leadership Unplugged. 100% of students reported that they would recommend this program to other youth in Georgia. While 93% of participants reported that their sense of business knowledge and critical thinking skills had improved since starting the program. Hi, I'm William Penniman. I'm a junior at Woodstock High School, and this is my first year being on the Youth Advisory Board. And this year, with the Youth Advisory Board, we have a lot of big goals and a lot of great plans. Uh, we really, really want to work on increasing awareness and outreach of the program. With that, we really want to focus on school outreach, so we're encouraging each Youth Advisory Board member to start a Youth Action Center at their school, and we also want to get to those rural areas and those schools in those rural areas so we're not just focusing on Metro Atlanta, but we're broadening our outreach. We also want to increase the program um, participation in youth conferences and finally just work on our mass communication and increase that. With that, we feel that our outreach and communication will really 
become a lot more widespread and it'll really help the program grow. Hello, my name is Nick Musse. I am a senior at Parkview High School. This is my second year on the advisory group. Uh, this year, in addition to our goals that William told us about, we plan on uh, focusing on a lot of community service and volunteer work, and we also want to uh, outreach into different corporate sponsors to help our funding and, and just provide you know an extra uh, branch of resource for us. And Yo! My name is Angela Jay, and I'm a rising junior at the Gwinnett School of Math, Science, and Technology. I've been on the board for two years. Hi, my name is Chandler Phillips, and I'm a rising senior at Collins Hill High School, and this is my second year on the Student Advisory Board. Hi, my name is Faith Farmer, and I attend Davidson Fine Arts. This is my first year being an advisory board member. So we just want to start off by saying we really appreciate your help in several different aspects. We really love your advisement as being an experienced professional through a possible mentorship program. We would also like your help contributing monetary donations to 21st century leaders. And finally, we always appreciate your time volunteering at our several different events during the year and maybe even the summer programs. Thank, Thank you for your involvement with 21st Century Leaders.